Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here at Kamada Joe, hanging out with my good friends at ATBBQ.com. Today I want to take the pressure off a little bit and show you my weeknight cheeseburger. All right, let's go ahead and make our burger patties. And what we're going to do is just kind of shape them into baseball shape size, and that'll condense it and we'll flatten it out. Keep that burger shape. Remember, as you cook it, it's going to start to shrink up and get thicker. So go thin, get good walls, and a nice shape. Good. Next one, same thing. Baseball, flatten it out. Try to keep that nice round shape. Take into consideration the size of your burger bun as well. Today we've chosen our beef rub and we're just gonna sprinkle a little on each side. So a little on the top, flip it on over, a little on the bottom. So today we're using the Kamada Joe Classic 3 and we've got one of my favorite setups for burgers. We're utilizing that divide and conquer system and going two different levels with a semi-indirect. Come on in and take a look. So notice on this divide and conquer system, I've got a two-tiered system. This is my favorite burger setup. We've got a grill grate closer to the flame on the direct side and then a, a grill grate at the highest setting with a deflector shield underneath for semi-indirect. So we're gonna cook our burger over here flip it, melt the cheese on this side. Let's get a little olive oil on our grill grate. And then I also like to put a little oil on the burger before we put it on as well. Place that third burger right there. Make sure not to get it too close to the edge because you want to be able to get that spatula underneath. Uh, and now we're going to close the dome and allow some of that ground beef to season up, but also take on some of that natural lump charcoal flavor. Oh yeah. We'll start with the one we put on first. And you could turn it and get that 45 degree grill mark. I, I, I'm not into that. I just, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Kamada Joe sells all kinds of fun accessories. We're using the grill grate today. You could use a soapstone if you wanted to. You could use cast iron. But that is delicious and fun. Go ahead and put some of this pepper jack cheese on top. Close the dome for another 30 seconds or so. Let's transition our burgers to the indirect side and let them come to temperature there. Now, if you want it rare, medium rare, well done, whatever you like, you can do that comfortably over here taking internal temperatures, but this allows us to come and toast our buns a little bit. Now, if you want to, you can put a little oil on these babies, you put a little butter on there if you've got a butter roller. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Let's go build our burgers. Let's whip up a quick sauce. I've got some of this Flavocano and I've got a little bit of Thousand Island. Couldn't be any simpler. We're just gonna mix a bit of that in there. And this is our secret sauce for these delicious weeknight burgers. And if you like it spicier and more delicious, add a little more sauce. Heirloom when you can. Look how pretty that is. Oh yeah. Let's get a little sauce on the top of these burger buns. A little sauce on the bottom. Oh, that's a lot of sauce. That's gonna be mine. And a little spread, spread. Assembly line style, you know? Make it easy on yourself. Next up is the lettuce on the bottom bun. You can tear it to fit, or you can have it hanging over, however you like. Right on top of that, we'll follow with our tomato. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Top with our burgers.
and then finish, whoop, finish with the burger top. Weeknight burger. Super simple, extra, extra delicious. Juicy. Yeah, it is juicy. Oh. Checks all the boxes. <laughs> I wanna, I'm trying to tell people at home, take the pressure off, it's just cooking. You're amplifying your flavor using a fuel source that's your secret ingredient. It's fun being outside firing up the grill. Delicious doesn't have to be difficult.